The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look, go down memory lane. I put up the chart here for my good friend, Mr. AZ, over in the UK. He sent this to us on December the 10th. He was looking for a high to come in on the SPX at 47.27, plus or minus five points. The high, folks, was 47. 32 yesterday and so i don't know if that's going to mean anything but uh, we pay attention to it he's a pretty smart dude he knows what he's doing got a lot of stuff to cover this morning so bear with me we'll start out with mr Bo has asked us a question about mr nike and we're going to talk about nike here in just a minute here soon as i find the doggone thing and i just had it here ready to go and what does it do it disappears on ah no it didn't i got it right here hold on all right here is the chart for nike we'll get this up here so we can take a look at it Bo was asking about the uh picture of the 3135 pattern as you can see we have the three lower highs you can see the ABCD patterns that are there and that's what's important you'll notice 0. 0.5 was a 61 percent retracement 0. 0.3 was a seven actually a little above 78 percent retracement he completed the ABCDs on the downside you'll see yesterday 162 having a big move um, so far uh, today but anyway uh, that is a three drive pattern it has all the things necessary you have three lower highs okay you have lower lows the trend is in the downside and it completes a perfect abcd down there yesterday at the 162 level so that i hope is what you're looking for now the second question is where does it go from here well boys and girls get your wallets out because this is not going to cost you anything what we're going to do is we're going to look at the range that we had when we went to 0.5 and it went from 167 all the way up to 174 so it should rally at least seven points so you take 162 you add seven to it and we should make at least 169 to 170 on nike anything above 170 could tell you that you've made a major major low here and you could be going a whole lot lower let's try that again larry a whole lot higher and that's certainly a possibility uh, with any of these markets now i have to spend a little bit of time with the gold market because i've had more questions about the gold than anything i've had here in the last <laughs> two years <laughs> We're pretty close to that let's take a quick look at the gold market here what i want you to see here i've been talking about this uh, on this show here for so long that uh and then i have questions about it so here's what i'm going to take a look at it here is the gold market that we've been looking at for anybody that's been along to 24 7 it belongs to the newsletter i've had this in here for so long yesterday's low was an exact 78 percent retracement of the low from october uh, uh, second all right it was also a 61 percent retracement of the low from august the 9th and it's sitting right there i mean to the tick folks i mean the number was 175360 and that's what the low was 17 uh, 5360 and we had a buy order to buy at 1755 we're now trading uh we hit 1800 uh, almost yeah we did a 1799.9 this morning up you know almost 50 bucks from the from the bottom and this this is a monster folks the, 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 don't be short this puppy well you do what you want but boy this one looks good not only that but it's increasing open interest as opposed to what's happened to the s p the nasdaq but and the others but the, remember these etfs are, can be very very bullish where the futures don't but the futures showing decreases in open interest yesterday on that giant rally 
decrease in the Russell, decrease in the Dow Jones, decrease in the uh, E-mini S&P, and a big decrease in the NASDAQ. So there's not new buying coming in at that level. But whether that means anything or not, I, I don't know. We'll cover that in just a moment. But I wanted to show you this gold because it's very important because there's several things here. If you look at it really closely, it would give you a better idea of what the, with the harmony that we're looking at here in the gold market. That's why it's such a great market to trade. Let's just move one step further and add some time into this, okay? And now we're going to do a little bit of timing stuff here today because guess what? This is my show and I get to do what I want until all the calls start coming in and then we have to, you know, put this show on hold while we answer all the calls. Speaking of calls, we have none other than Alfie Lavoie of Air Software tomorrow. He's going to be our guest and I think uh, you'll always enjoy him. He's got the best uh, software for cycles, including Astro Cycles, uh, available. His his Platinum program is just, uh, there's no comparison. Remember, uh, Alfie helped, I had a small part of it, maybe, maybe like a cup of coffee, but Bill Meridian was very strong into it, along with Alfie and a whole bunch of other people over a 30-year period building this. Now, I posted a chart here of the, uh, I think I did, I think I did. Let's just do it again. Let me get it up here just to be safe. I want. I added some things here on the gold chart just to show you why it was so very important as that number. You can see the ABCD up there at 1879. The high was 1879. Okay, the low today, yesterday was 1750360. Uh, okay, so those numbers are spot on perfect. Okay, now look at the move down from 1836 to 1721. You see the time down in that move? Now go over and look what happened yesterday. The time down was perfect. You know, I mean, you can't make this up. But maybe you don't like this. I don't know. But I add the fundamentals into it, folks. And I don't even know how to spell fundamentals, so I'm not going to worry about that. I keep this as simple as possible. I'm just an old country boy from Terre Haute, Indiana, just trying to weave my way through all these markets but this gold market has really got some legs in it in my opinion uh, and so we'll see uh, what happens here uh, for the rest it'll probably, probably be the high for the year today <laughs> oh good positive thought Larry let's let's not uh, worry about that I wanted to show you last night though um, from the time that the market uh, backed off uh, from the uh, the little rally that it had after the Fed came in You'll notice it made a 382 retracement down here at the 1781, and it showed that it was going to go up quite a bit. But let me show you uh, what was really happening in the gold today, because uh, this is what we were watching. This this is uh, the AI prediction for the gold today. I want to get this up here, because it should be making a, a high around 10 o'clock. Uh, I thought it was going to be uh, the exact time was 10 o'clock. This one was sent out a little bit before. The high was made at uh, 1799 and change. And that tells us that, that we have a possibility of having a little sell off today. Whether that's going to happen or not, I don't know. It's just probability. So let's go down and go through a couple of things from yesterday that we can learn from. Okay. I think we have to. Oh, we got a break coming up here. I want to bring this chart up because I think the one that Jeff uh, Huge gave. Us yesterday from Alpha Insights. You got to pay attention to this, folks. I know the whole world is bullish and the Fed's going to be going up. I mean, everybody was worried about the Fed raising interest rates. They told you yesterday they were going to raise it two times in, in, in 22 and three times in 23. And the UK opened and raised their rates today. It has nothing to do with that stuff, folks. It's, it's, uh, I surrender. <laughs> You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
the Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I wanted to uh, post a chart of the Treasury bonds. You'll notice here that we've had the same type of pattern that we're looking at in Treasury bonds, only this one is on an hourly chart. You can see the 61% retracement and the 78% retracements there. So basically what you're looking for there is a good, you know, good place to uh, have a buy. Now, I'm just going to post the AI, and I'm going to show some AI charts uh, this morning, and I have my my reasonings behind this. I want to show you how this is developed. And Alfie's got a program in his, uh, well, it's the same program that I have pretty much, but it it helps you d determine intraday stuff. I mean, it's it's for short term trading, which, from my perspective, it's what I like to do. It's uh, you know, it's like I'm a little shopkeeper. Some days I have. Uh, live hogs for sale other days i have a bushel of wheat for sale and some days i have the uh you know the gold for sale today is not a gold sale day but that's neither here nor there now if you remember yesterday i want to walk through a couple of these patterns with you first of all we're going to start out with the wheat if you remember yesterday i talked to you about the wheat and you, you can do this yourself at home you don't have to be a rocket scientist that high up there at 780 that was a 382 retracement on the daily charts folks now all it did was it went down but i want to show here i'll, I'll reiterate it today so you'll be able to see it here it is. Here's the here's the 15 minute chart on that. You'll see from the high we went from 794. The 382 came in at 780. And last night, you see that December 16th happens to be Miss Sarah's birthday today. And uh, how old is she? She went 39, 29, something like that. A little more, a little less. I don't know. Anyway, you'll see another 382 retracement there. That one only made uh, about. $700. The other one made a little over $1,200. So all it does is it tells you you've got a good entry point. You've got the odds in your favor, better than two out of three, and the payoff is better than three to one. And so that you can't ask for much more than that, folks. You really can't. So now let's get back 
to the, what we call frustration city yesterday because I was very bearish stocks in the morning coming in, and I'll and I'll post this because we were talking about it when I was on the air. It was making a low down there at 46.02. You can see it went off the board at 12 o'clock. You remember that's when my my show ends. The low at that time had been 46.03, and I said I'd be a seller at the 382, and it did get there. It, the number was 46.44. And it went up to 46, uh, 49 or 50. Then it dropped 25 handles. It dropped all the way down to 46.20, which was a 61% retracement off the low at noon when the Fed first came out. And then it took off. That ended up, I didn't make any money on that, but it didn't lose any money. But look how it went up all the rest of the day. So after that, you know, my, my problem was that I, I should have bought it when it broke above that because the AI was telling me that it was going to go a lot higher. Uh, but I didn't. But that's the frustrations that I go through each day is I see these things and I don't always act on them. Part of it is that, you know, I can't I can't watch this stuff all day and I don't like to watch it all day. So that's my reasoning behind when I do these things. I, I try to break them up so that I can see them a little bit better. You remember yesterday we had a, a, a caller call in uh, from from uh, Robert from of uh, uh, Kansas City, and he was asking us about USO, and I, I pointed out to you folks, and also to Robert, that USO was setting right at the 38% retracement of the high that we made here uh, five, seven days ago versus the low we made way back in late November, setting right at a 38% retracement. That is a bullish pattern, folks. And so look at that. You've come down seven days, and all you've been able to do is make a 38% retracement. Now, I know USO has got all the things that crude oil has to it, but if we just take a look at the overall crude oil chart, let's just get this up here. I'm going to walk you through this to try to build a case of how these uh, – what does it say about the patterns today? I'll show you in just a minute, uh, Dana, if you'll just give me a second, and we'll get it up here. Here is the uh, crude oil. This is the daily. You'll see the – the Gartley that we made, then we rallied up to the 79 level. We, we, we actually got short there. We made a really nice run down on the go crude oil. has been incredibly good through us for, for December. But now what's happened here, I want to show you what's happened here. This was yesterday, okay? And you can see today's prices are still in there. But I wanted to show you because of that 382, if you just follow uh, – let's say a 30-minute chart on crude oil and get ready to know that that 38 is there, look what the futures did. The futures came down really hard. They went from 71.85, they dropped $1,000, and they stopped at the exact 7, 8, uh, 382 retracement twice, 70.95. The low was uh, uh, 70.89, 60, you know, that's $60. And you can see where it is now. I don't. That, this was about a uh, half hour ago, but uh, you know this thing is really has has a lot of power. It moved from seventy ninety five. It already moved uh, twelve thirteen hundred dollars in a matter of uh, an hour. So that's not a sign of weakness, is it? If you think it is, then you know sell it short if you like. I won't sell it short till twelve o'clock. But anyway, let's move on. Uh, someone's asked a question about the e-mini for today. I'll get this up here. I wanted to walk through this to, to let you see how I set these things up because they can be set up relatively easy. We'll start out with last night. We had this explosive move last night. I want to get this up. There's going to be three charts here that you can see how you can do this yourself. This is not uh, even though the computer does it, you can do it yourself. That's where the high the early morning high was made right there. Remember the old high was at uh, 4740, 40, I believe, was the old high. And uh, we exceeded that. I want to get this up here, right here, because as we look at this, this was a forecast for today. Let's get this up here. And there you are. There, the key time for today. Uh, you'll see the key time last night. The high was comes in at 747.45 within five minutes of the high. The market breaks down, and the key time of the day came right in at the 382 retracement of the high from 47.45, the low down to 47.23. We rallied up to 47.33. That was the 382 retracement, and then down, 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 down we came. Now, the key time today, folks, is at 12.30 today. Now, I don't know what the market's been doing for the last 20 minutes because I've been busy, you know, flapping my gums and chatting with you folks, but that's what I'm 
trying to do as we overlay these things is to give you an idea. See, folks, the market repeats over and over again. We've seen it today. We've seen it in wheat. We've seen it in crude oil. We've seen it in gold. We've seen it in the S&P 500. You've seen it in all of them. We see it in Nike. You know, I have I don't I, I know Nike I wouldn't buy Nike shoes because uh, I don't like the politics that they had with that dude from San Francisco. But that's just me. I'm just a, you know, I'm just an old man just trying to get things done. I did forget to put up a couple charts here, which were I'll put these up right now before the break. Uh, pl please don't miss Alfie's show tomorrow, folks. He's a lot of fun, and uh, he's probably going to have a special deal for you on these psycho programs that he does. But uh, he and Carol do a fabulous job. Now, that was the FTSE, and now we're going to get up here and take a look at the German DAX. And uh, we're going to have such volatility here, folks, this, this coming year. It's really exciting to... Uh, to get ready to do it you know the other thing that you might be able to help me with since uh we we al just can't handle all the calls coming in folks so if you have any requests either put them in the den here or if you're listening and you want a, a question asked and you afraid to call in uh just you know dial in and send me an email larry gmail.com we'll be right back Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
okay, I requested some uh, questions, and by golly, I got one. And the question is, how often do I lose? And the answer is, a lot. And you know why? Because losing is like breathing in this business. If you don't lose, you ain't breathing because you're never going to be right all the time. So the faster you realize that, the faster it is you just forget it and go on. Uh, many, many years ago when I was first trading, I mean, I'm talking back in the late 60s down there at uh, at uh, McCulloch Oil Building with Conti Commodities and the guys from Clayton Brokerage came across the street to uh, you know work over there and Twentyman and Jack Friedman and all the other guys. Uh, it was uh, Rick, Rick Barnes, Ricky the Rocket Barnes. The first thing they said, you know, to, to they always talked about it was losing. They loved losing, and the reason why is it just put them that much closer to the next winning trade. And uh, so that's the real thing that you have to do. You got to realize that losing is just all part of it. And and if you think that I don't run in periods where I don't lose five, six, seven times in a row, I do. I haven't had any recently. Oh God, knock on wood. But uh, that will happen. And I, and when it does, all I do is I take a day off and move on to the next one. That's all I do. Usually when I do something like that, I've made a few mistakes along the way. And then after I've lost like three times in a row, I try to be a little bit more uh, creative on uh, you know putting the orders in. And we've got a call uh, from Alan all the way from Perth, Australia. Alan, is that you, buddy? Yeah, so there's Larry. How you doing? I'm good. Good to hear your voice, my friend. It's been a long time since I've been in Perth, but I love that place. Folks, that's the Gold Coast of Australia where he lives out there. It's like California was 100 years ago. Is real estate still uh, going straight up over there, Alan? Yeah, it's pretty rising hard, all right, but uh, who knows what's going in the future. Holy cow. All right, what can I do for you? You want to ask a question about natural gas? Yes, sir. I wanted to have a please have a look at the natural gas and tell me what you think over the next, well, today and tomorrow. Okay. I And as a matter of fact, I have a natural gas chart up here right now, and I'll bring it up to you. You know what's interesting, folks? I'm glad Alan called in about this because natural gas in uh, Sweden and in uh, a couple other places, Norway, up anything in upper, upper Europe is 10 times what it is here. It sells for $40.00. A cubic foot, and we're we're not even at four dollars a cubic foot. Alan, we should have a lot of resistance at the roughly three ninety nine to four dollar. But believe me, they're going to catch up with this one of these days, and they're going to realize this thing is way undervalued. How do they get the natural gas over there? I really don't know. But you know, for them to pay ten times what we pay, uh, they've got somebody between a rock and a hard place. That's the only thing I can that I can think of because this thing should be, you know, a whole lot higher just based on worldwide demand. But I don't know anything about transporting natural gas, even though I'm full of natural gas most of the time. But uh, that's all I'm saying. It looks like that it should be worth a lot more. I'm looking for a buy, a buy point. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for a really nice ABCD to the downside so I could, uh, you know, get in much like I did in the gold market. But so far, that has not happened yet. This is a 15-minute chart that we're looking at because it swings so violently that I do uh, trade it intraday. But I was looking to sell it. I don't even know where it's trading right now. I know it hasn't gotten filled yet if it did. Uh, but I was looking to sell it around the 390. Uh, where is that son of a gun? Can't even find it. Anyway, that that's my short-term view on it. But uh, I think if it gets down to that 356 uh, or 356 level, 360 level, I think you've got a chance to, uh, you know, to uh, to do it right now. But right now we're trading. We're trading at what 388. The high has been uh, 392 yeah. today. I'd rather, if I'm going to sell it, I'd rather do it up around the 399 level. Is what I would, uh, what I'd be looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I find it funny, like because they're saying in Europe. Prices are up massive, and uh, yeah. I trade the natural Henry Hope, I think it is, uh -huh. on the one. Yes, that's right, yeah. And and so which is the U.S. one. And it's, you know, it's, it's down. I trade, like, um, I use the sequential system, like uh, your other sure. counterpart there, TFN, and it's been on a daily nine on the sell side to buy uh -huh. for a couple of days. And I'm looking at a, a, a. I think this is a bottom in here now at the moment. And today was the um, 
the report that they give on the Thursdays at 10.30. Uh-huh. And it's holding at the moment. So I was just wondering, do you think this level currently, as we're sitting at 386, no, this hold, I, can't, can't, I can't touch it here. I if I I'd rather buy it around three seventy five. If I got to buy it, I want to buy it at a retracement, which is down around six one eight at three seventy five. I'll take a look at it. Three eighty six is in the middle of the range, and I, you could do it here. You don't have to risk more than three bucks, but I don't want to risk that three bucks at three seventy five. I would risk the three dollars, but not at three eighty six, or three eighty eight. Either yeah. one, I, I would. I don't like it there. Hey, but that hey. Alan, I'm wrong a lot, so if you want to take a shot at it, make sure you put your uh, stop in, and it's got as good a chance as any. But the number that I'm watching is 375. That's the number I would rather buy the natural gas. I'm talking the January contract, but that's where I'd be looking to be a buyer of it. And a seller around 399. That Those were the ranges that I was looking at for today. 399, yeah. Yeah, okay. Thanks very much, Larry. Much appreciated, hey, my good man. Have a good day. I'll come, I'll come over there and I'll come over there and visit you, buddy. So keep my room ready. Oh, it's ready and waiting. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, Alan. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you, my friend. Okay, you folks. Too, sir. Take care. You betcha. All right. Let's move on to question number one. Well, that was the only question we had for today. So if you want to call in, uh, I did want to cover that natural gas, and I am watching it for a potential buying opportunity. But, folks, it's really concerning to me when you look on the news today at Bloomberg, they were telling about $40 a cubic foot over there, and that's where it's cold. I mean, you can imagine these poor people. They're paying 10 times what we are for energy, and, you know, it's not easy. And then the U.K. raised their interest rates uh, today, so things are not going to be as easy as some people might think. But uh, why it's 10 times different, I don't know. I know we've got a lot of natural gas here. Part of that is because of the Italian population. But the other part of it is they just must not be selling as much as before. That's the only thing I can figure. Hey, we were at 650 two months ago, folks. If you remember that, we had that big A, B, C, D. Up. Well, there's that old numbers again, A, B, C, D. So uh, that's uh, pretty much what we're paying uh, very, very close attention to here today. I got a few other charts here that are quite interesting that I want to be able to bring to your attention here. And uh, one of them is none other than I wanted to show you this. This was the frustration that I had here. Let me take a look at this. Yesterday, we had a big order. Just the two orders we had setting in were to buy the gold at 17.55 and to buy the crude oil at 79. Excuse me, 69.15 in the January. You notice that was a perfect 3.82 retracement, and uh, you know the boat left without us. It missed us by uh, $25, and then uh, it takes off. What we were able to do. You know, he had that pullback today that if you if you were watching for that 3.8 pullback like we were hoping you were, you know, you got that 3.82 pullback and that uh, made up for the difference in that. So when you lose some of these, you know, I can't watch everything. I can't watch, you know, all the fact is, folks, frankly, you know, Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the E-mini S&P yesterday right around the Fed time. You'll notice that we were right down there at that uh, 4605 uh, area, uh, and then it had the big move up. You see it was exactly at the 50% retracement. I mean, you know, spot on. There was no uh, uh, fudging on it. It was just right at the exact number. But the other one, if you would have been watching at the same time, I happened to not be doing this because I wasn't here uh, during the Fed time, and let me get this, I was afterwards, at, at around 12 o'clock I was, of course, but if we we'll take a look here uh, at this next one, which I think is pretty important, i got to clean this off a little bit so that we can get rid of the old thing here, and here is the NASDAQ. Now, you'll notice the NASDAQ was, you can see from the high we made way back at the 1.618 expansion there, folks. Then we make the big A, B, C, D to the downside almost exactly. Then we rally up to the old 78% level. And you'll notice here that we have the three lower tops in here. This was done real early. I mean, we didn't get any higher. We got almost to that old high. We got to a little above 16,400, and we've broken uh, several hundred points already today. So the fact that it's right there at Fed time, boy, that's telling you that uh, there's a lot of support in there, and that's what moved it. And these algorithmic traders, traders they know this stuff. So you've got to be reminding yourself that maybe you don't believe in Fibonacci. Maybe you don't. All I can tell you is uh, you're going to be able to take a look at it. The, uh, the 4687 in the 382 for the S&P. Remember, our S&P should bottom somewhere around uh, 12 to 1230. So we're within about 15 minutes. I don't know the last price of it or anything, but it looked like it was uh, coming down a little bit at the time I was checking it a little bit before. We're at uh, uh, 46 something. Someone, I, someone just Skyped me at 4695 right now. So yeah, we should get down there and we might get as low as 4678. That would be a number to take a look at it uh, from that level. The other one is to pay close attention to the gold market, folks, because the AI is saying here in the next 15 or 20 minutes, we might roll over and have a little bit of a correction for the end of the day. And then I also posted the one for the crude oil and that's due to come in as we go off the air at 12 o'clock. So pay attention to that. That is not a risk-free, folks. These things have to work 
right away are they're no good. They have to be within, I'm talking, you know, five bars. And if you're looking at a, you know, two-minute chart, uh, anywhere between 10 and 15 minutes, if it's, if it's not working, something is seriously wrong. And that's where the risk control comes in. And that's what this whole thing is all about. It's about the risk control. And uh, that's what we've got to remember to do that. The other thing I wanted to mention to you next week, I'm going to have Rich Anderson on because uh, we need to uh, get ready for this, what we're going to be seeing happening in the uh, grain markets, folks, because the, the, pr the price of nitrogen is up three times, and that's related to the natural gas, I was told. So uh, I think uh, we'll have Rich on to describe, you know, what's going on there, because we, we got to think of not just natural gas for heating, but they use it for the production of uh, nitrogen for the soil, and it's three times uh, what it was last year. I mean, that, that's a huge increase for farmers, and not a fun thing for them to uh, you know, for them to go through. So anyway, that's what I'm uh, paying attention to uh, today. But we'll have Rich on next week. We'll also have hopefully Stan Harley on. And I believe we have a couple of days of holidays with uh, the Christmas Eve and Christmas coming. Uh, Christmas comes in on a Saturday this year or what? I think so, yeah. Anyway, but we'll we'll have the shows as regular and we'll be able to listen, re reduce trading. Uh, what do we call it? Reduce uh time of course but we'll be able to uh, have some other things that are going on all right now one other question that someone asked me about and i'll try to get the chart up for you i saved it i'm sure i did if all i have to do now is find the doggone thing there it is right here if you like 382s boys and girls and if you like 382s i like 382s this is a daily chart i don't know where it is now right now but at at 7205 we were making a 382 retracement on the daily chart and the Australian dollar. Now, I don't know where the Australian dollar is right now, but we sold it at, uh, I sold it at 7205 with a stop at 7235. That might be my only loser for the day, but if it is, that's it. The gold has made my day, and the gold is going to hit 1800, and I want it to be just about 1801 in about 13 minutes, and I'm going to take off my uh, long position, and I'm going to use a very, very, very a useful thing and that is call it a day and uh, let them pay because it's been a good day and I don't want anything to get in the way of that we luckily today we have a guest coming in from Kansas they were going to be taking out to dinner tonight and so that'll be a little fun thing for me to do so anyway that's what we're paying attention to so far today. And that's what I've got. Oh, my goodness. i got 13 minutes of the show and nothing else to say. If you have any questions, 877-927-6648. And we'll be happy to uh, answer them if we can. And if not, I'll make something up that sounds interesting, if nothing else. Someone's asked a question about the, the FTSE because of the fact that they increased their interest rates today. Get this up here and take a look at it. Makes no difference on these things, folks. Hold on, we've got a, uh, we've got a, do we have a caller coming in? Are you kidding me? How did he ever get through, Al? I don't know. We've got uh, someone calling in from uh, Philadelphia about patterns. Yeah. Uh, hi, Larry. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Is this Jeff? Uh, yeah, this is uh, Jeff in Philly. Um, yes, sir. I had a question for you. I was uh, curious if you uh, trade your patterns, the patterns you normally trade, have you treated them any differently between Christmas and New Year's when, you know, a lot of people are off and I guess liquidity is lower? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, I, I don't change. I never change anything. I, uh, you know, I keep it as simple as possible. I know I know the liquidity is thinner, but I'm not trading limit positions or anything. So these this limit size doesn't affect me at all. And it doesn't make any difference the time of the year. Jeff, I, I really don't look at any fundamentals. The only news that I see is related to what's in the news, you know, like an interest rate increase in the U.K. or the tornadoes in Kentucky or something like that I'll be interested in. But as far as the fundamental stuff of what the, 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 the chairman of the Federal Reserve says or a senator or a, a congressman or anything like that, your, your fact is, Jeff, you're the only person I listen to. So I'm glad you called in. <laughs> no, it doesn't um, doesn't make any difference. I, I realize you know, I made yeah. an assumption that you trade between Christmas and New Year's. I should have asked you that first. Do you continue to 
yeah, I trade. I trade. I, yeah. mm -hmm. I trade almost every day, uh, and I I never put. Well, once in a while, I, yesterday I had more than three trades on because everything was really moving good, but. Uh, uh, usually, I don't do any more than three trades. That's the those are the ones that I'm you know looking for today. I, it's long gold, which has been good, and then long the crude oil, which has been good. I short the S and P, which has been good, and uh, that's uh, the main thing that I've been uh, what I what I had on for today. Just like when I do the 24/7 stuff, I try to send these out ahead of time. I try to teach people. To, to try to, to get prepared for what the next swing will be. And that, that's the whole key to that. I, I posted those 382s because that's hands down. I mean, I you know, I someone says, why did you ever give this out? I said, why not? I've given everything else I have out. I mean, I don't think it makes any difference. <laughs> hey, right, thank you. Thank you very yeah, much. You keep up the good work and happy holidays to you, Jeff. Thank you, uh, Sarah. You bye -bye. bet. Bye-bye. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-927. 6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, uh, here's where I get into trouble. I put up a chart here of the gold with the AI program overlaid on it. You can see the first key time market backed off a little bit. Now it's coming into the second key time. I do not know the volatility between those times, whether it's going to be $3, $10, or $40. All I know here is the next 10 or 15 minutes, we should be making a short-term high 
in the gold market. And at that point, I'll be looking to uh, exit my uh, long position, and I'm going to put on a short position uh, with a stop probably around 1804, 1805, somewhere in that ballpark. But it's got to get here in the next, oh, let me see, we got another five or six minutes, right around 10 o'clock. That's where it should be making a high. Uh, shouldn't be any higher than 1803. Uh, I think that would be the highest because it's been grinding up here at around 1800. There's nothing magical about 1800, folks, other than the fact that it's up 47 dollars from the low in one day. That it, that that it, that's what you gotta face yourself. It's like that crude oil. Get ready to buy gold on a 382 retracement, folks, because this has got a chance to really. The open interest was good. In, in gold, silver, silver, there's one I missed. Shut the front door, Larry, and raise the rent. Dog, got it. I had that darn thing here all ready to go, and here it is. Let's get this up here. Thanks for reminding me. One second here. There we go. Look at silver yesterday, folks. It actually matched the low of late September. It didn't go a penny below it. Went exactly to 21 uh, 40. It didn't go any. 2141 was the low, and we rallied a buck a barrel, a buck an ounce. And there's another one that had increase in open interest, so it's acting like it's uh, pretty good also. So I think that'll be pretty good. Hey, folks, start doing some things for your friends that have trouble here during the holidays. This is the worst time. I hate to see the homeless people out there that are there, plus the people in Mayfield, Kentucky, that just get absolutely. Yeah, you have no idea when you look at these pictures of a tornado. What it's really like, folks, unless you've Unless you live through one of them, you really don't know. That they, they doesn't leave anything. I mean, with, with with earthquakes, it leaves you some stuff. And floods once in a while, too. But uh, to tornadoes, they have no, uh, they don't have any conscience. So that's uh, the main thing. Hey, let's see you all tomorrow with Alfie Lavoie. Live every day in an attitude. And God bless. God bless.